Uh, my name's Roy. I'm the best man, if you guys don't know who I am. I'm going to do this little uh, speech toasting real quick to see how this goes. Um, so tonight, the this speech that I planned out is uh, going to be a story. It's going to be a story of uh, how me and Mitchell, Mitchell met. And it's going to go and it's going to progress till I don't want to get any spoilers, but they end up getting married. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, I met Mitchell uh, four years ago. Um, it was my sophomore year, his freshman year at LSU. We met a little bit before that, but through some mutual friends, we started hanging out and things like that, and we just continued to hang out. Um, there was no set thing that made us, I mean, I don't know what happened. Like, I, I, I couldn't tell you. We just continued just to hang out, and it just day by day went on. And we actually ended up watching a TV show. If you haven't heard of it, it's called How I Met Your Mother. It's a great TV show you guys should watch. Um, but we actually, like, Two 13-year-old girls would stay up every single night and watch that TV show. Great show, you guys. I'm serious. And it had to be, uh, I, want, I want to say around season three or four. We had been watching the show for a while. I uh, decided that it was, it was time. I uh, took my heart out and I looked at Mitchell and I said, Mitchell, I'm glad we're best friends. And he looked right back at me and he said, we're not best friends. <laughs> It hurt. Um, he, he, I took my heart out. He threw it on the floor. Stepped on it. It was, it was bad. He said, uh, "We don't know anything about each other. We can't be best friends." I said, "All right. Well, let's fix that." And once again, like two 13-year-olds with their first sleepover ever, we stayed up to three o'clock in the morning talking about our feelings. That's great. Um, but this is kind of where things started clicking. We started to realize, you know, why we started hanging out so much. Um, we, we were talking about past relationships that we've been through, our goals, our plans, so on and so forth. And there was two things that we noticed that we had in common, two big things. Um, those things, the first thing was that we had this ambition, this goal, this self-drive to better ourselves. And that we knew that we were going to be successful one day. And not that it would be given to us, we would have to earn it, obviously. Um, whether that's, you know, getting lots of money, owning our own businesses, whatever the case may be. We knew we wanted to be successful. The second thing that we realized is that it didn't matter how much money we had or how much success we had, if we didn't have somebody to share it with, it didn't really mean anything at all. And that's where our journey really started, to uh, find the one. And I don't know if you guys have ever met two 19-year-old boys trying to talk to girls, but it's not a pretty sight. Um, so we went um, talking to all these girls, and you know, we had all these experiences and this and that, and, and they never seemed to work out. For obvious reasons, they're, weren't the one, right? And if you ever try to fake love or you just like somebody, it, it never truly ends up working out. And you guys, I'm sure, know that. Um, and then after about a year, Mitchell decided he had a calling um, against all of my advice to go to Minnesota. I tried to get him to uh, stay in Louisiana, but for whatever the reason was, he, he had this calling to go to Minnesota, right? So he left, once again, against all my advice. Um, but what I find funny about that is that the way Haley and Mitchell met. That it didn't matter if he had went to New York or Florida. I mean, he could have made his life a lot easier and moved to Texas, but he, he went to Minnesota and they still ended up meeting. And just get, kind of gives me chills that, that, I mean, they were able to find each other. And I get this call, well, it was a FaceTime, and he starts talking about this girl that I met. Her name was, spoiler alert, her name was Haley. Um, and he just starts talking about her and how awesome she is and they've been talking and how amazing um, this girl is, and you can just tell that it was different than all these other girls that we tried to talk to, right? And I said, well, man, you're all the way to Minnesota. Uh, what are you going to do? You should move back to Louisiana, and then you can uh, be kind of closer to her. Didn't work out. He said, well, look, man, I have a ticket. I'm going to go I'm gonna go meet her. Like, this is the real deal. I'm serious about this. I said, well, how does her family feel about that? And uh, <laughs> let's just say uh, the tensions were high. <laughs> But for right reasons, right? It's the 21st century and how they met. You know, you understand. But I was like, dude, I was like, this is the real deal. You have to do this. And he said, you know what? I, I'm going to show them that this, this is the real deal because I, I want to, I want to meet her, right? So, the point of the story is that true love always conquers through anything, right? All the ups, all the downs, um, through all the rough patches, all the challenges that they're going to face. That true love will always get through. Um, we know we have a lot of people here that are either already in relationships or already married that have already experienced this, that know that true love is going to get through, right? We have a lot of people here who haven't seen that yet, and I think that Haley and Mitchell are a great example of getting through these tough times, right? Um, so Haley and Mitchell, I think that um, I speak on the behalf of everybody that we're so happy to be 
watching you guys on this journey and where this journey is going to take you guys. So I just want to, I, I need a drink. I'm going to bring a drink for the next service. Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, I just want to, oh, sweet. Mm. I just want to raise the glass um, and say thank you to Haley Mitchell for bringing us along on this journey and take a drink to true love. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.